Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in Amaya 2022. So we're going to do something really cool today. Uh, it's kind of a combination. It's a technique that you can use for uh, meshed armor, um, you know, like Roman soldiers, Mad Max type stuff. But you can also use the same technique to make a very cool uh, uh, car grills. Um, obviously, you can use it for all sorts of things, but it's um, kind of a way to create a mesh and project it on an object. Really cool, okay? So I'm gonna show you two examples, one as kind of a piece of a body armor and the second one as kind of a, uh, a car grill type deal, yeah? Okay, here we go. So uh, the first one, we're gonna go up to create polygon primitives and let's do a polygon pipe right there. Right now, control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's set it to 14, which is fine. Thickness 0.2, I guess that's good. And then we don't need the bottom part, so we're gonna get a face. Take all of that, delete it. So that's what we have left, yeah? We're gonna go to edit, delete by type in history and modify uh, center pivot, yep. Okay, so now we have this, we're gonna jump to the top view and we're gonna create a pattern. So I got this one, I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate, and W to move it. And I'm going to move it to about here. Then I'm going to hit Shift D. So hold on Shift and hit D. And we'll just make a kind of a section here. Yeah, we got that. We're going to drag select that. We're going to control D again. W to move up. I'm going to hit F to frame that. And I'm going to move it up until the opening up here is similar to this opening right there. Yeah, that's about right, I would say. It's fine. So now we're gonna hit Shift D again and work our way up, yeah? So here we have a section that we can use for body armor. I'm gonna go up to Mesh and uh, Combine. I'm gonna make sure that the vertices are merged where they should be merged. So we're gonna go to um, Merge, there you go. And uh, let's see, I deleted the history, I think. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all good. So that's one example. Now we'll make the other one and then we'll project them, okay? So we're gonna hide this. We'll go in and let's do something different this time. Let's do a um, cylinder. Go to the attribute editor. Let's set that to three, which is fine. We'll right click go to face, get rid of the bottom part. So we just have the top here. Go to edge, select one, two, and three. Hit extrude, let's do an offset here. That's about right. Go back in, hold down the tab key and select these three and get rid of it. Okay, so now that we got this guy, let's go to our top view once again. Hit F to frame. I want this to rotate, so hit E to rotate it. Hold down J and flip it up like so. And then hit W again and move it up, all right. So we got this guy, we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, and we're gonna move it after frame until we got that in position like so. And then we're gonna hit Shift D a couple of times, yeah? Now, um, there are multiple patterns you can do here. You can fill up these gaps by flipping over the uh, triangles if you want. You can just hit Control D and move it up. So you get something like this. It kind of depends on what you want, right? But for the argument of this, um, but for this tutorial, what we'll do is we'll flip it over, yeah? So we're gonna go to uh, Mesh and Combine. I'm gonna hit E to rotate, hold down J, flip it around like so. We're gonna move it over, obviously, because I want it to fit. Have to frame that, let's go in here and Move that down like so and move it into place like this. So we've got these two and then we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, W to move up, move it up to about there. And then we're gonna hit Shift D a couple of times. And of course, this is a just a, a patch or a selection, yeah? We're gonna right click go to object mode. We're gonna go to mesh and uh, combine. Then we're gonna right click go to vertex, drag select edit mesh and merge, yeah? Okay, now that we have these two, let's go to display and show 
all. So I've got two of them. We'll move that one over here. Hit E to rotate and put it upwards. And one more. And there you go. And then we'll do the same here. Uh, okay. Now, how do you project that? Okay, so let's say we got a piece of armor here, yeah, or a body. So we're gonna take a sphere. Let's say that's a piece of the upper body. We're gonna move it. And this can be, you know, the actual upper body of your character. It can be, uh, you know, the pecs and so forth. Um, yeah, we'll move it in here. We'll make it a bit bigger. And move it over. So we've got good coverage like this. And then what we need to do is project it. Now, I don't want this to be cutting into my mesh like so. That's better. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this guy, shift like this guy, go up to deform. We're going to look for shrink wrap option box and go to reset. Scroll on the same page. And what I want is to select vertex normals, right? We're going to create. And there you go. OK, so now I can go in here. Select all of this, go to edit, delete by type history, and that's what you need to do after uh, deforming. Select this guy, we're gonna select our model here, and I'm gonna extrude it. So extrude, let's do 0 0.2 on the thickness, maybe a bit more, 0 0.5. Let's go to object mode, and there you have it, okay? So it will follow that shape. Now, be careful that you don't go too far. As you can see here, it's stretching on this end. Uh, but for smaller portions, especially if you work piece by piece, it works just fine, right? So looking at, for example, this whole area here works uh, perfectly if you want to do shoulder armor, elbow armor, and so forth, yeah? Okay, let's look at the other one, uh, this guy right here. Let's say that's part of a car grill. So let's hide that one. We're gonna go in here. Let's find um, a shape that we can use for that. Let's do, um, I don't know, we'll do a cylinder. And then we'll flip it over like so. Okay, you get the idea, yeah? Okay, so now that we have that, make sure it's covering everything. Move it over like so. And if I hit four, you can see what's going on. Yeah. All right. We're going to go in here. It's like this guy. Shift select that guy. Go to deform. Shrink wrap once again. Option box. Vertex normal. Still the case. Hit create. And there you go. So now we go in. We select all of this. Edit. Delete by type. History. We can now get rid of our cylinder. We got this guy. We're going to go to modify. Center pivot, hit control E and give it a thickness of 0 0.5. And there you go. There's your pattern, right? So again, be creative and think about all the cool things you can do with this method, right? You can make, uh, like I said, armor, uh, you know, parts of weapons. You can um, use it for construction, for buildings. You can do all sorts of cool things, right? So please let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, please let me know what you come up with. Before you sign off, don't forget that at 5 p.m. CET today, which is 11 a.m. EST, right? I'm going to be doing a live webinar about color. And I'll put a link below, and it's anything you always wanted to know about color. So the technology, the science, color grading, primary, secondary, tertiary colors, all of that cool stuff, right? So I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Big dog status, now I'm a big